Praise the Lord, for He is good and His mercy endures forever. Welcome back, friends, old and new, to another episode of GCK Daily. We are so glad to have you and can't wait for you to receive all that God has in store for you. The nature of God is so beautiful. God is so perfect and plain about His ways. His promises are confirmations of His heart towards us. Even when we don't know exactly what God will do in a situation, we do know that His promise is to never leave us nor forsake us. Yes, amen. Amen. All parts of God's heart are my favorite. However, there's one aspect I believe we are all aware of, and that is of His redeeming love. Yes, God's love is, is overwhelming. We are all sure of His love, because for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son to die for us. You know, it is dawning on me that God loved us so much that He gave Christ and gave Him with His power to come into our lives and to fill us. And to redeem us. Christ's death gives us life. His resurrection proves that God's love is way different from any other. And never expires. Never expires. What love do you know about that also empowers? Hmm, I know of none. The love of the world leads to trauma, but the love of God is displayed in the power of Christ who sets us free, who delivers us, and keeps us. And we can live by that love. We can live by that love and we can hold on for that love even till eternity. I'm getting so happy just talking about it. Friends, join us and listen about God's amazing power. The miracle of kill. Thank God that power to heal is still here today. The power to heal you, the power to deliver you, and the power to break every yoke in your life. Tonight, that power is here. And that power will be sent over there to you. Every ache, every pain, every sickness, every disease, every infirmity, every affliction, every attack, every yoke, Everything is broken tonight in Jesus' name. The spinal cord that have been damaged, new life will come to that spinal cord. And everything you've been carrying about, or they have to carry you like a baby and put you down gently. Tonight, as I proclaim the name of Jesus upon you, power will come upon your body in Jesus name you will rise up and you will walk Acts Acts of the Apostles chapter 5 verse 16 Acts chapter 5 verse 16 and there came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem bringing sick folks, carrying sick folks, pushing sick folks, lifting them up because those people were helpless, bringing sick folks, and them that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed, everyone. And they were healed, Everyone, it will come to your turn. And tonight is that night, the night of power, the night of healing, the night of deliverance, that everyone from the left to the right to the center to the back, anywhere you are, they were healed, everyone. How? Because of the name of Jesus, and that name is still as powerful today as it ever was. They were healed, everyone. Whatever internal problem, external problem, eyes problem, ears problem, liver problem, kidney problem, they were healed, everyone. And whatever your problem or challenge may be tonight, we will be healed, everyone, in Jesus' name. 
they were healed. The condition they brought in to the place, that condition changed. Tonight, your condition will change. Condition of paralysis will change. Condition of blindness will change. Condition of pain will change. And the condition of incurable disease will change even in your body tonight in Jesus' name. Power will change and shake everything shakeable out of your life in Jesus' name. Come back to chapter 8 of Acts, verse 8. And there was great joy in that city. Everywhere they came from, they came from different parts of the city. And a lame man came from that area, a blind man came from that area, an incredible man came from that area, and a bleeding a woman came from that area. They came from different places with different challenges, and all the various parts of the city they came from, uh, there was great joy. And this one from this area is saying, my blind eyes were open. He said, you say that, me too. I was lame, now I can walk. Another one said, they rejected me in the hospital. Now I am healed. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere you have come from, you are going to take great joy back home. Yeah. Healing back home. Yeah. Salvation back home. Yeah. Total freedom back home. All the chains snapped and all the chains broken. You are going to go back home with songs of joy and songs of miracle in Jesus' name. Power will come in your life. Hello, friends. This is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi. Amen. There you have it, folks. God's power is in your life right now, granting you freedom. So I guess the question is, what are we going to do with that freedom? <laughs> that freedom enables us to live a life that honors God and pleases Him every day. So there were a couple things that I realized when hearing this, this clip. Okay. God's power is an extended arm for intimacy with the Father. It's not that we encounter power to seek more of it, but that we encounter God's powerful presence as an invitation to God's person. And we can live in that love. As we encounter that love, we can live in it every moment by moment, day by day, and it will just flow out of us. And we can express that love to all those we meet as well. We also learn that God is always willing and able to heal us. There is no sickness, mental, physical, that is beyond God's power. Those are such wonderful takeaways. I'm so encouraged. So am I, and I hope you're encouraged too. Praise God for His love, mercy, and power. Let's keep listening. When it says the manifestation of confession, what does that mean? I want you to look at Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13. In Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13, He that covereth a sin shall not prosper. The one that covers his sin, that one is a pretender. That one is a hypocrite. That one is saying, I am good, but his conscience knows that he is bad. The one that says, I am righteous, and everybody in the city knows he is unrighteous. The one that says, I'm honest, everybody knows he's a liar, he's a thief. They are the people that cover their sins, and they accuse God of not seeing. And because of that, they go empty and But look at this, whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Mercy unto you, unto him, unto her, unto them. The way to have the mercy of salvation and the mercy, compassion in healing, and the mercy of a miracle, whatever the challenge may be, is to come and say, Lord, I'm a sinner, I want salvation. Salvation will come immediately. I am sick, I want healing. Uh, healing will come immediately. I am oppressed, I want deliverance. Deliverance will come immediately. It will come. I said it will come. It will come to you there. I rejoice with you. As you confess with your mouth, 
that were a sinner. You confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and Jesus is Savior. You'll be saved. You'll be healed. You'll be delivered. And everyone, everyone, everyone will go back home with songs and testimony of joy in your heart, in your mouth, in your life. In Jesus' name. You want that salvation? You want forgiveness? You want freedom? You want him to let you loose so that all the chains of sin that bound you in the past, everything will be cancelled now. Wherever you are, and you're willing to confess, I'm a sinner. I want the Savior, and I want him to forgive me. I want him to set me free. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand. I pray with you now, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you because you are the one that called the sinner out of sin. And you called everyone to repent. They have turned away from their sin. And they have come in genuine repentance. Believing that Jesus died for them on the cross of Calvary and rose again for their justification and salvation. Lord, manifest that joy of salvation in their hearts right now. Wash away all their sins. Give them assurance you have answered their prayers. They are no more children of Satan. They are now children of God. Confirm me to the Lord and let everyone go back home with great joy, the joy of salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. You are the object and target of miracle tonight. Lay your hand where you have the problem and then raise up the other hand manifestation tonight. Father, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for the message, for the miracle, for the manifestation, and for the very fact that there's going to be joy, great joy, all over this place tonight, everywhere tonight, in Jesus' name. I send forth your power. I send forth the healing. I send forth the deliverance. Manifest your miracle working power in every life right now, in Jesus' name. Blind eyes begin to open now. Deaf ears begin to hear right now. Dumb tongues be loose in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that swelling in the tummy, any part of the body, that swelling come out in Jesus' name. Lameness, paralysis, arthritis come out in Jesus' name. Broken bones come together. Broken bones come together. I command those broken bones be joined together in Jesus' name. Atrites vanish away. That insanity and that spirit of madness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, everywhere now, miracle. Everywhere, miracle. Everywhere, manifestation. Touch everyone. Turn every life around and put miracle on everyone. Confirmation. 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 It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of GCK Daily. We are so happy that you are here. Please feel free to reach out to us with your testimonies of how God has shown up in your life and how he has made his love great in your life. Feel free to message us on Facebook, social media platforms, and also on our website. Please feel free to also reach us via those connections with prayer points and needs. 
We look forward to hearing from you.